Proverbs 6 Do not take on impossible task. My son, if you have guaranteed the debt of your neighbor or the bond of a stranger, you have been trapped by the utterance of your lips and snared by the words of your mouth. To extricate yourself from this situation, this is what you must to do, my son. Since you have fallen into his power, go directly to your neighbor and plead with him. Give your eyes no sleep, your eyelids no slumber. Break free like a gazelle from a trap or like a bird from the grasp of a flower. Contemplate the end, you sluggard. Observe its ways and gain wisdom. Even though it has no chief, no governor or ruler, it stores its provisions throughout the summer and gathers its food at the time of the harvest. How long do you intend to lie there, you slugger? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the arms to rest, and poverty will overtake you like a robber, and scarcity like an armed man. A scoundrel, a villainous man is he, who specializes in crooked talk. He winks with his eyes, gives signal with his feet, and makes gestures with his fingers. His perverted heart is ever bent toward devising evil, as he constantly sows discord. Therefore, disaster will strike him suddenly. In an instant, he will be craft beyond recovery. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are abhorrent to him, are the eyes, lying tongue, hence the shed innocent blood, a heart that devise wicked scheme, feet that are quick to rough into evil, a false witness who spew out lies, and one who sowed the sensation among brothers. Observe your father's command, my son. Do not reject your mother's teaching. Bind them forever in your heart. Tie them around your neck. When you walk, they will guide you. When you lay down, they will watch over you. When you awaken, they will instruct you. For this command is a lamp, this teaching is a light, and the correction of this discipline point, the way to life, to preserve you from an immoral woman, from the seductive tongue of an adulteress. Do not last after her beauty in your heart, or allow her to entice you with her eyes. For if a prostitute seeks a loaf of bread, the adulteress endangers your very life. Can a man kindle a fire in his bosom without burning his clothes? Or can a man walk on red-hot coars without scorching his feet? So, it is with the man who consorts with his neighbor's wife, no one who touches her will escape punishment. People attach little blame to a thief if he steals only to satisfy his hunger. However, once caught, he must pay back sevenfold and hand over all his household's possession. But the one who commits adultery lacks sense. Only someone who wants to destroy himself does so. He will get nothing but beatings and contempt, and his disgrace will never be whipped away. For jealousy inflames a husband's anger, and he will be merciless in taking revenge. He will not consider 
any compensation and he will reject even the most lavish gifts. Amen.